What's up guys, Ibra here with Hurricane X, and today we're checking out something very exciting from the folks over at Kano. Now, Kano is a creative computing company uh, that focuses on providing computer kits and accessories for uh, users who are interested in technology and have the desire to learn how to code. Uh, age is not a requirement here because it's for everyone. Every, In fact, every product that Kano advertises is uh, for everyone out there, including app developers. Um, so if you like to build something creative with the help of coding, then you know these kits uh, might definitely or should definitely interest you. Now what I have here is the computer kit bundle that retails for $300. And I feel like that's a great deal because um, you're getting a screen, you're also getting a Raspberry Pi 3 unit, a keyboard and trackpad, along with the necessary cables to get you up and running. So you don't have to worry about getting an external monitor or you know power cables and whatnot. Everything is inside this bundle, so that's awesome. Kano also provides a different kit at various price points to get you started. For instance, there's the entry-level Pixel Kit that retails for $80, and it's basically a 16 by 8 LED programmable kit that can be used to code dazzling lights, uh, build your own games, create animations, and perhaps paint with light. All you need is a computer that runs either Windows or Mac OS in order to download the Kano app from the website to program the Pixel Kit. However, I will be connecting this Pixel Kit to my computer kit over here because Kano has pre-installed the necessary applications to get me up and running, so uh, that's what we'll be doing for this video. There's also a motion sensor kit that's priced around $30. It can be used to make music and games, uh, and it can be controlled by simply swiping and waving your hand. Pretty cool stuff in my opinion. Just to be aware, the computer kit bundle can be picked up separately. So this computer kit can be picked up for $150 and the screen kit can be picked up for another $150. So the options are very flexible depending on how much you'd like to spend. So with that being said, let's unbox this bundle. All right, guys, I do want to spend some time and talk about the building experience because uh, it was very intuitive, simple to understand, and most importantly, it was fun. Each kit comes with their respective build guides along with stickers if you're interested in personalizing devices. Everything is well laid out and the user gets to learn about each and every component powering the entire kit. This includes everything from how a CPU processes data to how a graphics chip passes commands to the screen. You know what's even cool? Colored cables, guys. I mean, check this out. Kano includes uh, a red micro USB cable, a blue 3.5 millimeter audio cable, uh, and a yellow HDMI cable. That's right, a yellow HDMI cable. And all of this encompasses into a colorful and creative learning experience, and I'm really digging it so far. Now let's quickly go over the setup for the computer kit bundle. The screen is powered via micro USB and it connects to the Raspberry Pi 3 unit uh, via HDMI. Speaking of the Raspberry Pi unit, it comes with four USB 2.0 ports, a LAN port, audio output, which has already been occupied by the built-in speaker, HDMI output, and a micro USB port for power. Just to be clear, both the screen and the computer are powered via this single five volt USB power supply. The included keyboard and trackpad unit is wireless and it connects to the computer through the USB receiver, so that's pretty cool. Moving on to the Pixel Kit, it has been by far my most favorite unit among the other three. It's so much fun to play around with and it's also a great addition for your learning experience. First and foremost, the Pixel Kit can be operated by its own because it features a battery uh, and if you want to program it, you can definitely pair it up to the computer via Wi-Fi. There are five modes that you can cycle through, but out of the box, Kano only preloads it with two modes. The rest are designed to be programmed by the end user. The built-in presets are very interesting. For instance, the audio visualizer reacts to sounds, so I can talk to the kit and it'll simulate a cool waveform. I can also change the color of the waveform to my desire using the joystick, uh, and there are also two extra buttons that you could use to uh, you know, switch between presets. The game mode dial features three classics, including Super Snake, Rainbow Runner, and Breakout. Uh, you would have to use the joystick, obviously, to control your movements. And I have to admit, it was a lot of fun, guys, and it took away my productivity time uh, which could be a positive or negative depending on how you take it. Now setting up the Pixel Kit to your computer is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is download the Kano app directly from their website and once you go through the installation procedure, uh, you just have to head over to the Pixel Kit option within the app and pair the Pixel Kit 
to your Wi-Fi network. This is actually a pretty cool feature because right now I have the Pixel Kit connected to my Wi-Fi network. And of course my account is associated with Kano. Uh, and remember, you have to create an account if you wanna take advantage of the uh, challenges and of course uh, have everything synced up. So if whatever changes I make within the Kano app will automatically be synced to the Kano Pixel Kit, which is pretty awesome in my opinion because you don't have to worry about connecting it every time if you wanna transfer or run a particular code. It just works automatically and that's pretty awesome. Now programming the Pixel Kit evolves around building blocks and it's not about you know writing the advanced code lines to you know get it up and running. In my case I have I followed a few tutorials uh, to get this weather widget up and running and it's pretty straightforward. So uh, I have the location set to Toronto because this weather widget heavily relies on your location and uh, what happens is when uh, with these if statements that are over here reflects upon and it starts cross-checking with the weather widget. So in my case, I've set the location to Toronto, and if the weather is cloudy, it'll cross-check that with the weather widget, and it'll start to show cloudy. If it's rainy, it'll cross-check with the weather widget, and it'll start to show rainy. If it's snowy, it'll cross-check, it'll, it'll show snowy. And if it's sunny, it'll cross-check, and it'll start to show sunny. So right now in Toronto, it is pretty sunny out there, and uh, it looks like it has accurately determined that uh, weather condition, and uh, it starts displaying uh, sunny on the pixel kit. Now what I can also do is head over to the location setting and change it to a different city. So in my case, I can just head over to Toronto, edit that to Ottawa, and it'll start displaying cloudy because what it just did is update the weather widget. So it checked marked and set that to Ottawa, and then it started reading these if statements, and it seemed to have uh, matched with, it seemed to have cross-checked it with this statement over here, which is if weather is cloudy, set the uh, weather widget or the app to cloudy to display the cloud figure. So the creating part doesn't end here. There are always different options and just a multitude of things that you can do with the Pixel Kit. Uh, there's actually a tab for different creations that you can share with uh, other community members. As you can see, you know, we have a Pikachu a display, which is actually very interesting. Uh, there's also, you know, Mario 3, you know, things like this uh, that seem to be very exciting and you can always uh, learn from their codes and understand how they were able to create something like this and you can build you can use that as an inspiration and start uh, working yourself uh, to create something uh, that might be unique to uh, to yourself and of course to the members out there i've also created a few more programs for the pixel kit other than just the weather app uh, this pixel painting app starts with a single pixel that cycles between different colors and once i start moving around the entire kit the pixels start to move up and down, side to side, painting the entire screen. It uses the included tilt sensor, which is just an accelerometer, to receive the positional readings and start sending that data to the app, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, I was also able to create this fire-like simulation for the kit, and it loops through every second. So, like I mentioned earlier, the possibilities of creating programs for the Pixel Kit are endless. Let's switch gears and talk about the computer kit bundle. As you can see, I have the screen connected to the Raspberry Pi 3 unit and the keyboard. Uh, the whole system powers on by just plugging in the micro USB cable. You are greeted into the home screen that displays all the major applications to help you learn how to code. For instance, uh, you can head over to the Kano Code app. Now this is sort of the central hub when it comes to uh, learning tutorials and stuff like that. For example, uh, you have the option to learn how to take advantage of the speaker uh, that's inside the Raspberry Pi 3 unit. So over here you can see you can you know start from level one, you can go to all the way to level six and get you know get yourself familiarized with the uh, with the system. Uh, there's also options to uh, learn how to use the Pixel Kit. So for instance, I had to go through the training session uh, to understand and familiarize myself with how to use this Pixel Kit and uh, it turned out pretty well. I mean, I, I ended up, you know, enjoying my, uh, my time with the Pixel Kit. Uh, there's also the option to code and learn how to, uh, you know, draw art with the help of coding. So if I just quit here for a second. So this application allows you to draw pictures with the help of coding. So for instance, uh, let me go over and click this smiley face emoji and uh, you know I can start to learn how to code with the help of uh, just you know a simple few steps so as you can see what I've done here is just write a few things like you know select the color yellow you can also you know start adding a stroke uh, and set the level uh, depending on you can set a certain value so for example uh, 20 will set the thickness of the of the stroke effect you can also do things like you know hit circle and um, add the value of the intensity of the circle so for instance 200 means that I'm gonna get a pretty large uh, circular figure it really is an excellent option excellent way to learn 
how to uh, code with just a few steps. And as you can see, it's very simple, but uh, this, I definitely had a lot of fun just trying to learn how to, you know, draw things uh, with the help of coding. So this is an interesting application. It's called Hack Minecraft. And what this is allows you to do is uh, program certain keys within the keyboard to uh, enable a certain uh, command. So what I've done here is actually, um, call, I've named a function called Nameify. Essentially what it does is when I press a key, for instance, for instance, I have programmed um, C as my command. It'll display, it'll, it'll add a text named Hardware Connects. So if I go back to my uh, game here for a second, all I have to do is hit C, and uh, you can sort of see where Hardware Connects is. So I, all I have to do is just go back and uh, take a little glimpse at what it's like. And as you can see, um, it looks pretty amazing. Now you can see Hardware Connects in all its glory. So this is this is pretty awesome. You know, uh, you can do certain things like add towers and uh, assign certain commands within your keys uh, to help, you know, build your own world within Minecraft. And I think uh, this is something that I'm definitely going to spend some time around it. Um, I have to make a confession here. I really haven't played Minecraft. This is my first time actually getting to experience this game. So if any of you guys are out there are you know Minecraft lovers, well you can uh, go as much as you want in the comments uh, down below. I should also mention that this is a fully functioning computer because Kano doesn't just restrict you with the applications that teach you how to code, but there are other programs that are installed on the Raspberry Pi 3 unit that you could take advantage of, um, you know, if you want to just do regular work. For instance, there is a browser if you want to browse things. There's also an app store uh, that, you know, has WhatsApp if you want to communicate with your friends or family. There's Wikipedia, there's Google Maps, Google Drive. Gmail. There's even a YouTube app if you want to uh, watch HD videos, not 4K, because the hardware is not capable of that. Um, and there's also a task manager uh, built inside. So if you want to monitor your applications, you can certainly do that. Now, Kano is actually running their operating system, which is based off Linux. So it is open source. And so if you want to switch things around, you can definitely just unplug the SD card and, you know, plug in a fresh new card and uh, take it from there if you so desire. What Kano has accomplished here with the computer kit and the pixel kit is revolutionary. I mean, consuming technology is a great experience from one end, but uh, understanding the uh, simple backbone structure behind, you know, that builds the entire ecosystem is fascinating. Sure, this kit's not going to help you build the most advanced software out there, but it's a great stepping stone towards that learning process uh, to get you to that level. Um, the visual building blocks help me understand simple algorithms behind the weather app that I created. And the Pixel Kit is a great accessory to help you interact with, you know, your creations. It's also a great way to start a conversation, you know, between family and friends. And of course, uh, you can have fun with your family and friends by just simply tossing ideas and creating uh, applications. So overall, you know, it's a great kit. It's, it can be used for fun. It, it's also, you know, visually very appealing. And uh, I'm definitely gonna, you know, have this in my living room. I'll be playing around with it here and there. And of course, I can start programming games and stuff on on this Pixel Kit and start gaming on this LED uh, screen. So yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty fun. So I would love to hear your thoughts on this entire kit from Kano. What do you guys think about this entire ecosystem, specifically the computing kit, the screen kit, and the Pixel Kit? Let us know in the comments down below. Uh, links to purchasing these kits will be in the description down below as well. You also get a $5 coupon code, so I'll leave that in the description down below. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. I'm Ebar with Howard Canucks. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more similar content, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.